Okay, you guys, uh, could you clear the track so we can go by? Thank you. Oh, by the way, we uh, don't have to worry about that. Uh, now I switch on the steering, the brakes, and the throttle. Uh, QGM, can you uh, check on this uh, ladder? Uh, cold. When you uh, stop, let me know. In the market to buy a new car. What options do you want? They've come up with a new option, one that leaves the driving to the car. A crisis is looming on the nation's four million miles of streets, roads, and highways. Driven by population growth, the demand for mobility as a fundamental economic need is at odds with our ability to fund new highways and maintain a clean environment. There is three major concerns. One is the safety of the highways. Um, it's known that over 40,000 people die on our nation's highways uh, every year. This costs the country $160 billion just in uh, lost lives and property damage. Second is the congestion. 79% of the nation's interstate highways during peak hours are now congested. And thirdly, there's the problem of environment. Should we continue to rely on these outdated systems to fulfill our changing needs? The National Automated Highway System Consortium brings hope. NAHSC is a diverse team of companies, governments, and universities at the helm of a breakthrough in transportation technology. The challenge? To plan the system so the technology saves lives, time, money, and the environment. People are often curious about what an automated highway system is and how it would work. Uh, I normally describe it to them in terms of an automatic or electronic chauffeur. Take control. Take control. I'm going out there on a drive in the road. Take control. On an automated highway facility, you as the driver would drive to the entrance ramp in much the way you drive to the entrance ramp as a, of a toll road today. And at that point, the control would be handed over to the automatic system, which would then do the driving for you. And when you reach your exit point, then you would resume control and continue driving until you got to your destination. Uh, this makes it possible for you to drive without paying attention to what's going on in the roadway. It lets you make use of that travel time to do whatever you want. Buses and trucks also could be equipped to use the AHS lanes. This can function. Uh, and pieces of it can function today in with mixed traffic where most of the vehicles are manually controlled. It offers great opportunities, not just for our grandchildren, but for our children and for ourselves. The consortium participants are showing how it can be done at Demo 97. Demo 97 is a congressionally mandated uh, proof of technical feasibility demonstration. Really, it's our chance to show the world what uh, intelligent vehicles and highways are all about, and it'll happen this August in San Diego. Put the key in, but yeah, here we are. Both Dean and I are driving with no hands. Uh, we're coming up to this obstacle up here, but this is pretty cool. I wonder what the other traffic thinks. All right, it sees the barrels and is swerving. And we're around it. No hands. The consortium calls them scenarios. These scenarios demonstrate the technical feasibility of various types of automated highway technologies and how they will increase safety and decrease traffic congestion. We'll be showing platoons of vehicles, that several vehicles spaced closely together. Uh, that'll show us uh, some increased uh, capacity uh, options on the highway. Uh, we'll be showing a free agent scenario where we have an automated vehicle mixed with manual traffic. That shows how we could uh, incrementally deploy these vehicles in the very near term. We'll also be showing transit vehicles, buses, how they can be automated, uh, along with a number of other features and functions of an automated highway. For example, the technology the consortium is demonstrating includes adaptive cruise control, which senses vehicles ahead and alters speeds accordingly. This is done through the use of different types of sensors. 
Collision avoidance, which detects obstacles and other vehicles in the road and safely adjusts the course for a single vehicle or a platoon. Cars can communicate driving information through a combination of sensors and communication signals. And lane keeping technologies using video cameras or markers that are tracked by magnetic sensors in a vehicle, ensuring lanes are followed precisely. The vehicle can then calculate its exact location in relation to data it rapidly reads. Smart cruise control, like that being demonstrated by Eaton Borad, an associate participant in the consortium, is an example of a building block technology across the variety of scenarios. Another way these technologies can function as a system can be seen in the free agent scenario. The whole idea in the free agent scenario is to put as much of the intelligence as possible right onto the vehicles. This has a bunch of consequences. First of all, we don't have to do any modifications to the infrastructure. Our sensors can pick up the markings that are already down there. Secondly, our vehicle is self-contained, so it doesn't have to talk to other vehicles, so we can run it in mixed traffic, even if there are human-controlled vehicles mixed in with the automated vehicles. The work of the consortium indicates a combination of these approaches will lead to a fully automated system, one where drivers can choose to enjoy the scenery. What Demo 97 may lead to is an AHS prototype that can overcome many transportation challenges and double or even triple the flow rate of vehicles per hour. Bill Stevens remembers clearly the moment he was asked to participate in the consortium. So I took the opportunity. It sounded exciting then and has proven to be everything that I thought it would be. As days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months, others like engineer Chuck Thorpe soon realized the potential of the demo. You never know how historic it's going to be until you see how well it succeeds. But now, partway through the program, it's succeeding very well. We have big hopes that it will be historic. In fact, the start of research on an automated highway system began before either of these engineers were born. Firebird 2 to control tower. We are about to take off on the highway of tomorrow. Stand by. Since the dawn of the automobile age, futurists have been predicting that vehicles will eventually drive themselves. And you needn't be a design engineer to envision its potential. Well done, Firebird 2. You're now under automatic control. Hands off steering. Over the years, transportation researchers have taken up the challenge, but were only working on parts of the system. It wasn't until 1991 that a federal transportation law called for harnessing all this energy into the development of automated highway system technologies. Before the consortium, the AHS work was largely scattered uh, throughout the scientific community. There was particular emphasis on uh, AHS in the state of California because of the particular congestion problems that they have there. The public asked for safe roadways, safe travel, and they asked for mobility, for smooth flow. Uh, the public's tired of the congestion on the roads. So we're doing everything we can. We have a broader program in intelligent transportation systems. And one aspect of that program is looking at what can you do with vehicle control, with computers, sensors, communication, so that the vehicles operate better to help the driver operate the vehicle for safer travel or smoother travel. So what drivers will experience on the roads and highways of the future and in their cars is a progressive deployment of automated highway system technologies. Ten years down the road from now, we'll have the actuators in place, we'll have many of the sensors in place, and it'll just take a little bit of additional electronics, a little bit of, com of computer programming, to make it possible to have completely automated travel. Imagine, it's been a long day and you really need to relax. You've just battled some extremely heavy stop and go traffic, so you decide to have a cup of coffee, flip through a catalog, or even read a book to your child while your car does the driving the rest of the way home. It may sound far-fetched, but the technology exists. I can make people relax, be stress-free. Very innovative idea. Go with it. I'll never see it happen. Oh, don't be too sure.